Ciao. All right, welcome everyone to our session today, our Tech Training Thursday. Uh, today we have Rolando Garcia, our CIT and teacher from Cantu Elementary. He is going to show you a great tool, Magic School, and how he uses it to grade the extended uh, constructed responses. So, Rolando, thank you for being here and joining us today. And thank you everyone who's joining us. Please register on the PD system and sign in with remote, remote check-in code PSJA Tech. And Rolando, go ahead and take it away. Okay, welcome and thank you for having me. So what I'm going to start off with are the files that I will be using today for my extended constructed response in Magic School AI. So I'm going to start off with your basic um, reading uh, prompt extended constructed response that we have for each of our passages that we read. And this is one for a star passage that was, uh, I believe it was from last year, Tales from Watership Down. And these are the same ones that the district gives us when we're doing our extended constructed response. It's basically a rubric for that and the prompt. So that's one of them. The next one is the extended constructed response rubric that I got from TEA. And it has the scoring points for the passages. So this is the rubric. It is from TEA. The next one is a rubric that I created that gives instructions to Magic School AI on what I want it to do. So it says, I want you to give feedback based on the rubric provided for the STAR test. I want you to also look for the at the article the students are reading to ensure their answers are accurate. Please give them an estimated score based on the rubric of 0, 1, 2, or 3. Also give them a separate score based on the conventions in the rubric of 0, 1, or 2. So this is something I, I had to create to give it instructions. The next is I have a student sample that I will be using. This is an actual student sample from TEA that I got. This student actually scored a 5 on, on TEA for, for his oh, 5 or 10. So that's what he got. And you're going to see that it's a little, it's not exact when it actually scores it. So maybe adding the human element, you can maybe give these extra points or leave it as the way it grades it. I'm also going to include the actual passage from Tales from Watership Down that was for the test. So I'm going to include that. So these are the files that I will be using today. Okay, so I'm going to go, ahead and go into Magic School AI. We'll log into that. Okay, so once we're in Magic School AI, we're going to go to Launch to Students here at the left-hand side in the Tools side. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to launch a new room. So I'm going to click on Launch New Room. Daniel Baez, please report to the front for pickup. Daniel Baez, to the front for pickup, please. I'm going to name my assignment. Fifth grade, I'll leave it at that. And my students, I'll put 30. Okay, once that is filled in, I'm going to go ahead and click on Next at the top right-hand corner. That's going to take me to the Tools section. Once I'm in the Tools section, I'm going to scroll down to search for Writing Feedback. As you can see it right here, it has that pen. I'm going to click on Add. Scroll up and now it's here under the tools to launch. So once that's there, I'm going to click on next and it's going to take me to customize. So I'll click on that. Once I'm here in the customize tools, I'm going to go ahead and click on the writing feedback tool and click customize. So this is what you're going to see next. So it says writing feedback. I'm going to leave it like that. Give feedback to your writing, fifth grade. And here I'll put write an extended constructed response. Of course, you can put any instructions you want there. 
So here in the type of feedback or rubric, this is where I'm going to upload the files that I have that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the paperclip. Upload. You can see here it says upload. Okay, it takes me to my files. So I'm going to go ahead and include the writing prompt rubric, the extended constructed response rubric. I click on those two and click on open. It's going to upload them. Internet must be a little slow. Okay, I'm going to include one more file. I'm going to include the actual passage. Watership down. In the next section, I'm going to go ahead and include the instructions that I created. Click on Upload. And the star rubric feedback. So I'm going to click on that and Upload. Wait for that to finish. Okay, once they're all done, I'm going to scroll down. Here's where the students are going to enter their information or their passage when they're typing it up. So now that's done. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. Now it's going to give you the option to go ahead and test your customization. So it gives you the option to go ahead and type in something here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the actual Word file. I'm going to copy and paste this passage from an actual student. I'm going to copy it and paste it here to test. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Generate. And you're going to see that it's going to start to score it. This is what the student's going to see. Once they have typed in all their passage and, and have them graded. So it tells them the areas of strength. It's going to give them an explanation of what they need to do, areas for growth, and general feedback on their writing mechanics. So here's where it gives them their score. It says, based on the STAR Extended Constructive Response Rubric, uh, Organization and Development of Ideas, your score is a 2, and your convention score is a 1. So this is 2 out of 3 and 1 out of 2. So this student would have scored a 3. Now on the STAR test, this student actually scored a 5. So maybe based on the human element, you could maybe bump the score up or give them the actual score that this is going to give them. So now once you're done, you click on done. And you click on launch room right here, top right hand corner. And it's going to give you the option to put it into the Google Classroom. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and insert it in Google Classroom. Okay, here's where you're going to add the due date, gives them instructions on what to do, and join Magic, Stu uh, Magic School Bus, Magic School. Uh, add your topic, if you have one, or you can just assign it. View. And now when I go to Classwork, it's here. Now when the students log into Google Classroom, they'll click on that. They'll click on Join. They'll type in their name, so I'm going to type in mine, join room, and it takes them there to Magic School. They click on I acknowledge, and this is what they're going to see. So they're going to click on writing feedback, and it's going to take them here. Now don't worry if they accidentally delete any of these files. They can always go back and enter again, and the files will be there again, So because you can delete them. So they'll just click back and come back. So this is where the student will type in the response. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the like, same thing again. I'm just going to paste it just so you can see and generate. So this is what the student will see. And they can see their score. Now, after they read their feedback, it does give them the option to edit the prompt and they can go back and have it graded again. So if they follow the, what the instructions that it's giving them and they go ahead and go in and correct them, they can go back and type in the corrections and see if the score 
uh, gets better. So once this generates, you as the teacher, let me go back and log in again. Go back to launch the students. So this is what you're going to see as a teacher. So here, I'll click on that. I can see that one student has already um, entered their assignment, Rolando Garcia. So I'll click on that so I can see what they got. So here, I'll click here where it says writing feedback. I'm going to click there. And I can see what the student wrote. I can see the feedback that they got and their score. And it'll generate for every student as soon as they turn in their assignment. And that's it for lesson. Are there any questions? No, it looks great. Can you show us again how it's created? Okay. Let me go back. Which part did you want to see? How are you creating the, 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 the launching from the beginning into uh, the magic student part? From the beginning, like start over from the beginning? Yeah, like add, adding the, the information to like selecting the, the, the tool that they're going to be using only and all that stuff. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so like I said, uh, when we go to launch new room, start over. This is what you want to see again, like this part? Yeah. Okay. And the constructed response. Okay. Put my 30 students in there. Top right-hand corner, click on next. And here in the tool section, this is where you go and look for the writing feedback tool. You click on add. And now you can see it here in the list of tools. Click on next. Takes you to the customize section. Click on customize. And this is where you're going to uh, upload your files in the type of feedback or rubric. Click on the little paper clip. Upload. And you'll see your files that you're going to be uploading. So here I'm going to upload the rubric, these two rubrics here, starts to upload. So this is the extended constructive response from STAR and the writing rubric that we receive uh, from our passages where it includes the prompt. In the other one, I'm going to click on the paper clip as well. I'm going to click on upload. And this is the instructions that I'm giving to AI to grade my assignment. OK, I'm also going to include over here on the top. I'm going to include the actual passage, Watership Down. So I will include that. And here are my three files. And at the bottom, this is where the students will be putting in their information. As soon as it uploads, you can click on Next. On the right-hand corner, it does say Preview what students will see. So this is what the students see on the right-hand side. So the students are able to, to, to um, download the, the passage as well? Uh, there, well, the passage is like, let's say you already gave them the passage. They have it, they have it in writing in front of them. They read it, or they have, they, have, they have it there, so then they would actually read it. And then this is where they're going to come only to input the actual response. Oh, great. Got it. Now, if you yeah. try right there where the little I is, right where? there in the, in the middle. In this one? Uh-huh. If you click it in there, then the students won't be able to see it. The what? So oh, the, these, in, these here? You can, yeah. You can okay. hide them for them so they don't click it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So then click on Next. And this is where what the students will see, and this is where you can test. So I will just copy and paste. This is the actual passage, so you can test it. I didn't put anything in there. 
let's just type in. Okay, so click on done. Generate, sorry. And you see the sample of the response. If you're happy with what you're seeing there, then you go ahead and click on done. And then you launch the room. Top right hand corner, launch room. And then this is where you're going to put it in Google Classroom. Did you want me to do this part as well? No, no, no. I just wanted to see that part. But okay. Thank you so much. I love okay. what, how you're using this. Yes. It's a great tool. And it saves you a lot of time. You don't have to be reading all of them. It's doing it for you. You just read what they wrote here. It's already there for you. And the kids, they, they enjoy it. And of course, you could use other rubrics um, too for other, you know, maybe other subjects or if you have like writing assignments, right. uh, you know, you could still come in here and use Magic School. Uh, as long as you put in that criteria, the students can come in and put their writing and it will, you know, give them that feedback. So it's amazing. Yes. So in the star rubric, the link that I included, this is where the actual rubrics are. Right here. So I got it from here, writing rubric. And it gives you the different rubrics that are available, informational, third grade through fifth. This is where I got it from. I love this, Rolando. Have you tried for the feedback? Have you tried uploading also the race strategy? So like I, it, it knows? That one. No, I haven't tried that one yet. Cool. Maybe try it but out. Let us know how it goes. I will do that. And I reposted that link that Rolando shared um, to go to the star reading uh, page to get those rubrics. So does anybody else have any questions for Rolando? All right, awesome. And of course, Magic School has a million other tools. So um, I'm sure we'll have uh, some more sessions along the way with that. And if you have any questions, let us know, reach out to us. And I'm going to go ahead and do the door prizes. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you for having us here. Let's bring our wheel of names. I believe I got everybody that's here in attendance. So I am going to share my sound because there's sound. It's kind of fun. Hopefully that changed. I'm not sure if it did or not, but I'm going to shuffle up and let's see who our lucky winner is. Good luck, everybody. Leticia is our lucky winner. She was our first person here, I think, today, too. Yay! I never win anything! We can't Abby, say that anymore. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. And we do, again, want to thank everyone for attending today. Um, Join us for more sessions to learn more about technology. Um, usually every Tuesday and Thursday, we have our elementary sessions and Mondays and Wednesdays secondary. But of course, everybody's welcome to all of them because a lot of them apply to, you know, all levels. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Everybody have a great evening. Thank you.